We're Laura and Nicholas. Last week we arrived in the beautiful Maldives. After some bad weather in paradise, it is finally starting to clear up for what will be our last three days, which we will be spending at the property where we first fell in love with this beautiful destination, the St. Regis. Hello guys! Welcome to another vlog! We're still in the Maldives. This is the last property that we're visiting on this trip and it's actually the very first resort we ever visited in the Maldives two years ago. It's the place that made us fall in love with the Maldives. Exactly. That is how much we like this place. Yes. So we're so happy to be back. Honestly, I knew it was one of my favorite places in the world, but being back here, I mean, I totally forgot how beautiful this place Brings is. back all the memories. It's just so for the next few days we will show you guys around. We are staying in this amazing St. Regis overwater villa. It is a St. Regis suite, one of the nicest rooms in the whole property and we cannot wait to show you. We will do that tomorrow. Now we're just gonna refresh because we just arrived and then we will go out for some cocktails. Yay! famous whale bar but we will show you the bar tomorrow when it's not this dark and now we are having dinner all right so we just got back from a lovely dinner hello Laura I am talking yeah I'm sorry so all the demotico is like on, I don't know if you can see it on the iPad, wait, wait, wait. On the iPad so you can do the air conditioning close the curtains open the curtains yeah, I like all this stuff. I like it. It's a cheeky, you know? Now it is time for bed. Sorry, I have we to will show you. Oh, God, oh. Laura loves to eat. Oh. So we will show you the rest of the resort and our villa tomorrow. But now it is it's time. time for Good night. Good morning. It is a new day, our first full day here at the St. Regis. The sun is shining, we are happy. We're on our way to breakfast now. Laura is riding a bike. What more do you want? Back in the room, let's give you guys a little tour. We have the dining table right here and then the lounge area with a sofa and a couple of chairs. To our left, we have a bed that hasn't been made up yet. Sorry. And then onto our beautiful bathroom. It's a mess. Yeah, it is a mess. It's a mess, you should show it later. I'll just show it to you guys later when everything has been made up so we spent the whole morning shooting taking pictures yeah, the weather is weather, so nice uh, so we just have to shoot photos you know but now we're on our way to the spa we're not going to have a spa treatment but there is a blue hole here so it's actually some kind of how do you call it actually it is the biggest hydrotherapy pool hydrotherapy. in the world or in the Indian Ocean I'm not sure but it is beautiful it's like one huge Blue hole. like bubble bath kind of yeah. style. with jets overlooking the ocean we'll show you later it is amazing bruschetta and Caesar salad no chicken no beef exactly that's how I like it <laughs> and on top of that we ordered some nachos and tuna soft shell taco oh spicy hot came back to the room and our butler Tom which we also had two years ago made this for us oh this is so sweet look this is even a photo from us I don't how he did it don't touch it he literally just printed a photo that we took here two years ago he's oh, the best he's the best Tom, if you ever watch this vlog 
Thank you so much. So I think it's time to give you guys a little room tour. Laura is cleaning up. Are you ready, babe? Yeah, well, it still looks like a bit of a mess, especially my clothes, but you just have to look over it. That's how I live. Hey, okay, let's give you guys a little tour of the villa. Okay, so now it's time to take some photos. So we're spending a few hours in the villa right now because yeah, we just wanted to take as much photos as possible because we missed so many photo opportunities during the last week since we were in the Maldives because of the bad weather. So we're just trying to catch up a little bit. So I'll just show you where we took photos. So we just took photos right here in these hanging nets. Well, I actually have no idea how to call them. There's some typical thing for the Maldives, so we can just lie in those. And now we are going to take our bikes. We are going to the jetty and take some more photos there. Then we have to take a couple of photos for some clients. And we have to come back, get changed for sunset, do another sunset shoot. Then we're gonna go for dinner, probably relax a little bit during dinner. And then we have to edit photos this evening on our laptop. So, busy day. <laughs> The man who never fails. <laughs> Cheers, my love. Cheers. Thank you, Tom. Cheers to you as well. Man, that was cool. So, sunset is over. We're gonna drink the bottle of champagne now. We have a call now with a client, so we have to stay in the villa now for the call. And then after that's finished, we're gonna go for dinner. Hey, tomatoes here. <laughs> Nicholas is so Burned. Babe. We had one day of sunshine. Look at my And face. we always use SPF 50 sunscreen. Always. But, but apparently forgot. Nicholas forgot his hat, you lobster. No, I forgot everything. I forgot to put it on this morning. So I don't How can put you it on be so stupid? Anywho, we're going to go for dinner now. Our bikes are still at the restaurant from shooting sunset. So we're gonna walk over there and then enjoy our evening. But we'll take you guys with us a little bit, right? Oh, we know. Are you guys interested in seeing more food? <laughs> I feel like we're just gonna say <laughs> Okay, goodnight. we'll just say good night and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is a new day. So Laura just woke me up. Babe, babe. It's a beautiful sunrise. Let's go and take a picture. So it is six in the morning and Laura's all excited. She wants to take a picture. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so the shoot went well and now we're on our way to breakfast. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day again, so... Yay! Yay! Okay guys, so after a nice little breakfast, we are back in the room. I am just making a backup of all the pictures, waiting for that to finish. And then we are going kayaking! Ooh. And not just any kayak, it will be a glass bottom kayak. <laughs> Okay, so before we go kayaking, Laura wants to take a picture here with these palm trees. We already took a picture here two years ago. So we're gonna try and take a shot here, but that means that I have to climb on the palm tree. For those of you who have ever tried climbing a palm tree, it looks really easy, but it is not. The sky beyond the blue, we turn the page, our story became. Well, that was fun. It hurts so bad though. Let's see if we have a picture. Okay, so we just had a look at the photos at the result and my pose is really nice, Laura says, but her pose isn't very flattering. So she wants me to do it again. I'm so sorry. 
thanks babe. Or They're we can best. just use this. No, fun. let's do another one. We don't settle for mediocre. I'm we so go sure. for great. I'm so sure you it's make. okay. But afterwards we can just like run in the world. Okay. Okay, so now we came back to actually I think one of our favorite parts in the island. It's where a lot of beach villas are. And the beach is just stunning. If, if one day you want to come here and you want to stay in a beach villa, make sure to ask one of the beach villas closest to the reception. They yeah. have the nicest beach, the bluest water in front of them. Okay, so it's time to use the glass bottom kayak so you can see fishes actually just underneath so here we are in our glass button kayak <laughs> Yay. Yay. so the thing about the glass button kayak obviously is that you can see through so here the button is completely in gloss okay, these are the family beach villas so with two bedrooms it's kind of a beach water villa because you're really at the waterfront which is very cool. So at this point, we're just chilling in our kayak, looking at the fishies. Hello, fishies, where are you? I think we still prefer snorkeling though. Yes. This is a nice way for people who come swim to see the fishes. Yeah. So this was really fun, but we're gonna head back now. Gonna give you guys a last little look at the fishies. <laughs> we have a bit of a situation here. One, I look probably very weird, but I'm just like, the sun is too much. <laughs> <laughs> Reality, we're in the Maldives. Oh, I look okay. like a weirdo. The kayak is not going well because apparently I'm not good at kayaking, right, babe? You suck. <laughs> Literally. Like whenever I stop paddling, we just go around in circles. <laughs> We literally go around in circles. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it on my own. That's uh, no, when I help you, we just like go around in donuts somehow. All right, time for another lunch here at our favorite Alba restaurant. We just heard the news that tonight there will be a very special dinner for us. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I heard there was sushi involved as well, so Laura is very excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we made it back to our room and we are going to enjoy our little terrace Yay. for a couple hours. Laura's a bit sad because she doesn't want to leave. Because we had such bad weather and now it's finally good weather. Like a few days ago, I told Nicholas, I, I don't mind going back home because what are we doing here? And now that the weather is good again, I just want to stay. This place is paradise, babe. But we have to go home. Yeah. And we gotta go shoot one more picture. We're gonna do that now and then we will get ready for dinner because very special dinner coming up. We have no idea what it will be. No, no idea. Just that it's on the beach. And that it's probably sushi. I would love sushi. That would be nice, right? Okay, so as we told you before, we're having a special dinner tonight. And now that it's getting a little bit dark, we can finally show you the beautiful setup. So. This is where we're going to have our dinner tonight. On the beach, super romantic, lots of candles. This is literally like a honeymoon, <laughs> or I don't know, even a proposal thing. No worries guys, Nicholas is not going to propose. All right, we're starting this evening with some amuse-bouche. This is gonna be a fancy dinner, babe. This is going to be very fancy. We're having sushi and dim sums as starters. I wonder what's next. I think they are grilling something because I saw there's like a little barbecue grill thing right there. So. I walk this road, it takes me home with skies of blue. All right, we finished our dinner. It is time to go to bed because we have an early wake up tomorrow. And we want to enjoy a lot today. So we just got back from dinner and what is this? It says, Dear Nicholas, Tom, your St. Regis butler, insists me to be here. Please use me as needed. Best regards, Aloe Vera Shell. No way. That's what it says. <laughs> so our butler saw that I was very sunburned, so he decided to put a plate of Aloe Vera there. He's so 
is yeah. really the best. It's insane. I mean, how many hotels have you been to that goes like that, that far that to make their guests feel like family? I'm gonna use it now. I don't know. How do you use it? Do you rub it? I will show it to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that felt good. A little aloe vera. Prickly. Prickly pear. Ah. Prickly pear. Berry pear. Ow. Prickly pear. Ow. Sorry. Sleep tight, you guys. Sleepy boy. <laughs> that, that must be really nice. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. Good morning, my little love. It is time to wake up. The sun is already slowly rising. And we are going to have a special breakfast this morning. And it's in 45 minutes, so it is time to wake up, my little lovey. So this is our last time riding to breakfast. I'm gonna miss this. I think I can say for the both of us that we've been super grateful that we managed to come here to the Maldives. Wow, just look at this. Yesterday evening at midnight, we were still sitting in the sand and now they built this whole cabana. Oh, that looks amazing. Well, that was a nice breakfast, but very, very hot. So now we are going back to the villa. We're gonna take our snorkel gear, go to the main beach and go Get to the best snorkeling, snorkeling spot. Yes. Because we haven't done much snorkeling actually here in the Maldives this week. Because obviously the weather was super bad. The sea was super rough, so we could not really snorkel. We'll try and take the GoPro with us so we can show you how it looks like underwater. Yeah, that would be great. We haven't used the GoPro in probably one and a half years, so no we idea. Never use it. No idea if it still works, but <laughs> you'll see if there's some underwater footage now, it worked. If not, if not, it's broke. Mm. snorkeling it was amazing so many fish we saw every color yeah <laughs> yellow blue purple black white <laughs> no, no, no literally so many amazing fishes and now we're going to have a spot treatment <laughs> Just getting changed now. These are the beautiful changing rooms. These bathrobe, you guys, they are the softest ever. Oh, they're so good. And this right here is our beautiful treatment room. And I'm gonna put the camera away now because I'm just going to relax. Bye. Oh, so we're taking one last walk on this beautiful beach. I'm going gonna to swim. go for one last swim. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, I want to go too now. our last lunch here at the St. Regis and we have a very special guest. Thank you. Audience, meet Tom. <laughs> Tom, meet our community. <laughs> so Tom has been the most amazing, kindest friend and butler we could ever hope for. Yes. Yeah, we are making a little plan to go and visit Tom <clears throat> in his local island next year or the year after. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, we'll cool. mm -hmm. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> It is time to say goodbye to paradise. I walk this road because I know it leads to you. No matter when, no matter why. 
so we're spending our last few hours here in the Maldives in the St. Regis lounge. To be honest, there are worse ways to wait for a plane. Definitely. So I guess this is the end of our vlog. We are so sad to leave. <laughs> we had an amazing stay though in the yeah. St. Regis. It is by far, well not by far, but it is one of our favorite resorts in the world. The weather was nice. <laughs> That that does a lot. I feel like two vlogs with bad weather. I hope you really enjoyed this one. And I hope we could show you a little bit what St. Regis is about. And maybe in the future you want to visit it as well. So you got like an idea of what it looks like. If and you guys have any questions, please let us know. If you need help with DMs. booking, please let us know as well. We're happy to help. And we hope you enjoyed this vlog. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to see more vlogs like this. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Our next vlog will be our super long layover in Doha Airport. Bye guys.